Okay, there we go. Okay, here's a look at our block and a look at our cylinder head gasket. Let's see if we can pry this off of here. Let's try from this side, yep. It's still intact, as you can see. I think it is multi layered, yeah. yeah it's a multi layered head gasket and still intact, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter once your cylinder head warps beyond a certain amount. <laughs> it just escapes between, uh, right between here, between the cylinder balls. And so, yeah, what I'm gonna do next is actually get a razor blade and brake clean, clean all this, this area thoroughly. And then gonna bring my straight edge and uh, measure it for warpage. Okay, so I just spent 15 20 minutes cleaning the, the block, and uh, there's different ways of doing this. Some people use uh, little roll lock adapters, I guess they're called, that 3M makes, I think. They uh, put on the angle grinder and then they just go around and uh, clean it off. Um, yeah, that's probably a good way of doing it. The way I've always done it though is uh, I just use uh, some brake clean. And a razor blade. This my way out obviously takes longer, but uh, you know I've always done it and have, I've never had any problems. So that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I just gonna keep doing. You know, different ways of doing different things, and you know you do whatever works for you. But uh, I also use uh, sometimes use this gasket remover. This helps a lot actually. You know you just put it around on the top of the block, and you let it sit for 15 minutes. Then you use your razor blade. And then you'll have a lot easier time getting all that stuff gunk out. And again, some of this stuff looks looks bad. You know, it looks like there's a chunk of old gasket material sitting on top of the block, but that's not the case. This is just really, really tiny particles of the old gasket material inside the pores of the the block. You know, it's not going to affect any um, you know the level nest on the top of the block, and it's not you know you're not going to have a leak because of you see the stuff that's black, but you can't feel it with your fingernails, and you've tried this, and you've tried the razor blade, you can't get it off, and, you know, don't dig in with the razor blade trying to take this stuff off, you know, you're supposed to only go gently on the surface, you can try, you know, gently scraping it off, or gently trying to just scrape it off this way also, so, you know, take it easy, uh, take your time, use this stuff if you want. I'm going to do this again one more time before I put the new head gasket and the new cylinder head back on here, but for measuring the warpage, this is plenty clean. Okay, and now to measure the, the amount of warpage we have on this block. Um, the, the spec for this, the maximum allowed warpage on this according to all data is 0 .004 thousandths of an inch, which sounds really high to me um, from my understanding. Uh, I you don't really want to have a point more than 0 .004 thousandths of an inch of warpage combined. That means you could have 0 .002 thousandths of an inch on the block and then 0 .002 thousandths of an inch on the cylinder head. And then that's like the limit, that's the max that you should really have. But, uh, you know, I'm going to measure the more warpage on this if it's, I would, I mean, <laughs> if it's anything more than 2 thousandths of an inch, then uh, I would probably worry the, um, you know, but again, I'm getting a rebuilt cylinder head and that's going to come with a resurfaced surfa uh, resurfaced uh, bottom of the cylinder head. It's going to be resurfaced. So, yeah, if it's a little bit more than 2007 inch, I'll probably just, you know, be okay with it. But it's definitely anything more than 0 0.0025 or 0 0.003. If it's that area, then you know, I'll be hesitant to just slap another cylinder head on this. But uh, anyway, we're going to measure it now. The way you want to measure it is... Uh, well, you want to go in a lot of different directions. The first measurement we're going to take is go straight across. We've got my filler gauge. Again, the smallest I have on this filler gauge is 0 0.0015 to try to fit between. But uh, again, you know, that's below what my maximum, you know, comfort zone on the maximum amount of warpage on this is. So if this, if this thing fits on there, then uh, I'll go get another one. But uh, hoping this won't fit on there there. But uh, anyway. The first measurement we're going to take is going right across. Then we're going to measure going uh, all the way across here and on top. Then we do cross here this way. 
this way. Then what you want to measure is, oh, well, you want to measure these right here too, but these uh, dowel pins are in there and I don't feel like taking them out. So I'm going to measure right here, here, here. And we're going to go from there. A thing uh, to note is that uh, sometimes these edges aren't as even as the surface. So you want to keep an eye on that, on that, especially if you're going this way. You know, like, as you can see, these areas, they were not covered by the head gasket and they have uh, different uh, rates of corrosion on them. So, you know, if you can, just put it just below that, you know, measure it like this. Now, if you put it on this, there's a chance that you get a wrong reading. Okay. So, yeah, the first measurement we're going to take is like this. And going straight from the center out. And got my 0.0015 thousandths of an inch filler gauge. And I'm just going to see if I can fit it underneath here as you remember the air was escaping right through the between the cylinders so these are definitely you want to make sure you get the measurements right here correctly and good news is I can't fit this underneath my straight edge okay speaking of straight edges the straight edge you want to use is a special it's a machinist straight edge I guess you would call this uh, it's not the straight edge they sell at the Home Depot or whatever those are just not as accurate you can get a wrong reading using one of those so go to your local machine shop or whatever and get one of these I actually bought this off of eBay for 20 bucks so I'm sure you can if you want to buy one you can find one for cheap too okay next I'm going to go across from the bottom this is kind of harder to measure I don't really want to measure it from the edge and I want to measure it right across all the oil galleries and the coolant galleries so I want to measure it closer to the center you could you know since there's hold these holes here again there's a chance that you could be able to jam this through there but unless I'm seeing overwhelming evidence of warpage right by these holes I'm not gonna worry about them too much I guess you can always hold it down just to make sure this doesn't kind of push this up going right from the edges of these holes so you don't get a bad wrong reading But generally, I don't like to put my hand on this. I just like to measure it this way. Yeah, this, this side is good as well. And we do the same thing top. You know, we really had no problem with... Uh, Cool or with oil or coolant get a mixing so it was basically just the compression compression gases that was passing through these cylinders so these were the issues but uh, still we got to measure make sure the block hasn't warped okay top is good as well as we go across this way Yeah, that's good too. Okay, so now we're just gonna measure it going, going from uh, from the top to bottom, and we're just gonna go. It's putting on a shadow on this side, so it's gonna be hard for you guys to see. But I'll try to show you if there's any problems. But yeah, I can't, I can't fit this through here. Okay, on this one right here, I can I can kind of force this in. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but no, not. I mean, again, I can get the tip in, but you guys probably aren't seeing it. But I can get like that much in, but it's not gonna it's not passing through. And on the middle where we were having the combustion gases pass through also I can get just like a poor just small tiny bit to tip in and it's not going but it's not going through maybe I've had a 1007 inch filler gauge 
over here I could get it through here maybe there's tiny amount of warp pits there but again if it's 1007 inch I can live with that it's not I'm not gonna worry about 1007 inch especially again since I'm getting a rebuilt cylinder head and that's gonna be pretty flat so we're gonna be way within spec and This side is good too. Hooray. Yep, the block is okay. It's not warped beyond uh, its limit. It's within spec. It's way within spec, within its limits. And when you get a rebuilt cylinder head, get a new head gasket and clean this off, and uh, we can go on to the next step.